is sleep therapist Sammy Margo. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning. What, what, why, first of all, is insomnia on the rise? I'm imagining it's got something to do with tech, because nearly everything we do yeah. on this show has something to do Indeed. with tech. Indeed. We're living these busy lifestyles whilst we're sedentary, so we're physically underactive and mentally overactive. And talking to a lot of members in the audience, they're also saying that their minds are so busy, so active, they just can't switch themselves off. We're more like dimmer switches, not on-off switches, and we need time to unwind, settle down. So it's this high-tech, busy, 24-7 lifestyle that we're leading. And, and, I mean, Toya's situation, is that... I mean, it sounds so absolutely So, Toya, your, yours is... I, I know, I know all about you, and um, we've had a chat about it before, but basically you've clearly developed some coping strategies to manage your chronic insomnia. It's, it's really challenging. You're getting at least five hours in total per night, and many people can survive on four to six hours at least. So it sounds like you've developed strategies, but it's very difficult and it obviously affects your life. But I can see in the break you're eating a banana as well. I was very impressed with that because bananas got magnesium, potassium, melatonin and serotonin in it, so that could help. But obviously so they're, they're good to eat uh, at bedtime, bananas? So... There's a whole range of foods that you can almonds, eat. Almonds, camomile, yeah. I mean, everyone's heard of camomile Almonds tea. are great, chamomile's great. Turkey is the finest source of tryptophan, which is a precursor to your sleepy hormone melatonin. Oh. So looking at the food substances that you're eating before you go to bed, having a nice little sleepy snack, even marmite... Lager and kebabs? And rather than kebabs, that's a bit heavy. Okay. But although, anything... although, I sleep like a baby. I do, you're, I do. You're uh, one of the lucky you guys? Would you recommend to somebody who can't sleep because of worry, because of anxiety? I mean, my, my wife, she can't sleep on a Sunday night because of worrying about work on a Monday morning. And this is a really common problem, and there's a few strategies that you can do to help get off to sleep. I'm a big fan of listening to audiobooks, because when we were kids, we used to listen to our parents tell us lovely stories. Quite you haven't yeah. got the, the visual, you haven't got the blue light exposure, and you've yeah. got this kind of displacement therapy going on, so someone is telling you a story mm. that you might be able to get lost in. But there's yeah. loads of other strategies like counting sheep like really? recall, yeah really? well, well it might work for yeah, some people I recalling your day backwards I, yeah. um just visualization but even there's a fantastic technique called progressive muscle relaxation which has been around since the 1920s it was invented by jacobson and it's a series of contractions and relaxations of your muscle and also involves breathing. It's a bit like a form of meditation. Is this, is this where you start off and you lie down and you think, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going uh, to scratch on my toes and then let them go to sleep, and then I'm going to do my feet and Whilst then my Whilst you're lower. breathing. So you work... Yeah, I've it's done a this. Sequence. Yeah. It's very effective for people that are very stressed. There are loads of apps um, that you can use to actually run through the sequence of events. Do feel free to comment and give us a thumbs up if you feel inclined. For more clips from the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, click here. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button here to be automatically informed when new videos are available. Links to our other social media platforms can be found in the description. Thanks for watching.